that is going to be popping up for just about everybody who started on day one in the recruitment store guild store arena store all those things shops are going to be resetting and making sure you guys aren't making any mistakes is probably going to be one of the biggest deals so if this helps you guys out or you guys were wondering this make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button leave a comment let me know what you guys think if this video was helpful if you thought it was boring i don't know just let me know either way i like constructive criticism let's talk about something that we need to talk about What's up guys, Barry Game here back with some more AFK Journey and today we're going to be talking about something that might be impacting players that started the game exactly on launch because one thing you will notice in the Emporium, we've had some stuff refresh. One thing that has refreshed is the guild store, so having those chances of getting stellar crystals and of course those epic invites are there, however, they do cost diamonds, so if you do have the diamond resource for it, you can go ahead and get those. We've already previously talked about the champion store, which unlocks once you get to the champion level in arena. If you're not there just yet, you will not see this. Much like you will not see all these purchases here if your guild is not leveled up. So one thing that a lot of people probably have not realized is their guild level does matter. When you upgrade these levels on your guild, you unlock additional things in the store. And as you guys can see here, uh, not only do your weekly guild quests and kind of cap go up, you also get epic invite letters available, plus one, plus one, plus one. It ends up being a lot of them that get added to the store. So getting up to a level six guild is going to be very important, not only for the progression you get between your guild chests and, of course, your battle drills chests and those rewards there. Those are really important, but that also affects what you can do monthly in the Emporium. So again, championship store and this store are very, very important. If you can afford to get these, you can. Now, the one thing I do want to talk about are the scam crystals. Yes, the stellar, stellar crystals that are used in the stargazing station. My goodness, stellar crystals feel like the biggest scam in the game. However, they are kind of a necessary evil, even for free-to-play players. Now, there is one place you can get stuff really well, and that is the recruitment store. Because this one here, if you've been saving these up every single month, there's a few things you should be purchasing. And for a free-to-play player, there's really only two categories here you should be purchasing. You should be purchasing the minus 50%, and that's it. Because let's be honest, you're not going to have this many dolly tickets as a free-to-play player. You're going to be lucky, probably, to purchase these every month then you probably want to wait till you get close to that refresh on day 31 uh, and then maybe purchase some other things up now me personally this is what we're going to be doing this is what every free to play should be doing right here this should be a perfect example of what you want to do however if you have the extra tickets and you think you're going to do more summoning then of course getting more stellar crystals and these are important now even on our account that tapped us out we can't even get regular invite letters but again these are probably one of the last things you should go for and one thing i feel like people saw a lot of people do in the very first month of this game is buy these soulstone s levels these are really not great because they are 100 percent random soul sigils they're not great because at least with the invite letters you can target what you're going for based on your hero wish list or this wish list here so just keep that in mind you probably want to try to stay a little more focused you can notice here we actually have a couple a levels on our banner because we're trying to push them to supreme plus because that's going to be another topic we talk about later on is getting heroes to supreme plus doesn't look like we hit anything great uh Hey, we need art and copies. That's awesome. We're still 20 away. That does give us a few more of those dolly invites, but or those dolly tickets. But again, not enough to really purchase anything. Even for me, I'm probably going to sit here and not purchase anything else for the rest of the month. Now, on to the scam gazing station. So we have 11 of them. We are going to be getting one of our burial copies that we need. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit lucky because again, this only happens once a month where we can essentially do another 10 pull completely free. And I don't know if it's going to be good either way. We are getting the guaranteed one copy, but the fact that it takes like 
four months essentially to get a guaranteed copy feels kind of bad as a free to play what you're used to seeing is just all this other random nonsense around it we have one more let's just see if somehow we get godly lucky i highly doubt it but again going for more supreme plus heroes are good however i would recommend never ever 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 going for a supreme plus celestial hydrogen just go for mythic plus and maybe upgrade them to supreme if you have the copies because one thing you probably don't know is that celestial and hydrogen work a little bit differently it requires two copies to go from mythic plus to uh supreme whereas an s level you get to use acorns to do that and then going i believe from supreme to supreme plus is another four copies so don't think it's another two again like s levels and right here you can see we got one of our two copies we need for Boreal to get to mythic plus because i want to get his shadow reflection exclusive because this lets me play the zoo comp which i'm hyped to do and in reality, the best way you are going to get Celestial and Hypogens are going to be from your uh, guild medals. That's going to be the most important way for you to get your resources. However, it does take quite a while. You'll probably be getting like one copy a month if you're playing optimally on a free-to-play. Uh, we're about to get what I think our third copy as a spender even. And that's really not that big because anyway everybody is pretty much limited based on their guild progress and this is why again going for that higher tier guild not only gives you more chances to get more stargazing and more epic invite letters uh, from the store with diamonds it also is going to be giving you more resources a month you might only see four five or even six thousand per week uh, getting up to that seven thousand is important it's going to take a while and of course, doing all these quests, including doing tons of these complete proxy and synergy battles is important because even though you're not getting the guild medals, these count towards your progression every week in your guild. And if you are like our guild, where you have a contribution, which we're doing 57, which is pretty good, uh, your your activeness is based on those quests and you can see right here i haven't done any of those extra battles which is why we're falling behind and the fewer chests you get the fewer resources you're going to get the fewer resources you're going to get the fewer guild medals you're going to get and this is just all a big thing so you really want to try to stay in a guild that is at least active uh going for that level six challenges are eventually going to dry out this is probably one of the biggest boosts in the early game to get a very very first week one uh celestial hydrogen hero and then it turns into a month thing because well the guild challenges disappear i'm hoping with seasonal content coming soon we're going to see more guild challenges because this is probably the best way to actually get guild medals it's what 1400 per 1500 1500 14 14 you can see there's a lot of them here there's what three six nine twelve 15 18 21 22 of these so that's like already essentially more than one celestial hydrogen just by doing the guild challenges so make sure you guys are in an active guild make sure you guys are progressing and then also make sure you guys are playing the emporium properly don't make mistakes don't do too much hopefully this helps you guys out let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time